Alexa, when will World War III start? Five p.m. When Russia launches an attack against Germany. We are very close to the rapture, guys. I definitely think it's 2023. I've said that in the past like five years that I think it's this specific year, but I really think it's this year. After teaching Bible prophecy for over 25 years, God's word says, we can see the day approaching. I am at the point where I am 99.9% .9 certain that this is the year. I believe the rapture will be in the very near future and the tribulation will begin this fall. We are in the days of Lot, in the days of Noah. The rapture is going to happen real soon. Real soon. Things are going at breakneck speed here. Uh, things are just piling up, just going so fast. I've never seen it like this in my whole life. We're, 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 in, the, we're in the window of, of some big event happening, and that's probably the, uh, the rapture any day now. All signs are now pointing towards the tribulation about to get started here shortly. We have this breaking news now from NASA scientists just posted in the Business Insider. The sun's activity could peak two years early, frying satellites and causing radio blackouts by the end of this year, experts say. Guys, this has never happened before. I went back over all these cycles. We've never seen anything like this. This is a very unique phenomenon taking place right now. A very obvious telltale sign that the tribulation is about to begin. There is so much that makes me excited that this year, 2023, and possibly even this summer, is a super high watch time like I've never seen before. Going from the date of the crucifixion, which according to all scholars and people who study this, is somewhere from... 30 AD to 33 AD. It's one of those four years. If you take 2,000 years forward in time from the date of the cross, that should be, we believe, the second coming. Because if you look at prophecies like Hosea 6 and biblical typology that's replete throughout the Bible, I believe that it shows that there should be a 2,000 year period from the cross to the second coming. That would put you 2,000 years forward would be 2,030. You, you go back from that 2,000, let's, let's say 2,030 for the case of tonight. You go back from 2,030, seven years for the tribulation period, the seven-year tribulation period, to look for when you would be hopeful for the rapture, when you would be looking for the rapture. That would take you to 2023. We are also late into the fig tree generation. And the fig tree generation began when Israel became a nation again. And Israel sim being symbolized by the fig tree started blooming. God says that this generation that sees that happen will not pass away until all prophecy is fulfilled. Now we also see massive amounts of prophetic biblical convergence in, in almost in, in every way, in area, in every area, every sector, technology, government, morality, spirituality, geopolitics, on and on and on. 
the amount of lanes that are converging prophetically is simply off the charts. It is, you can't keep up with it. It's like drinking from a fire hose. There's, there's so much happen that happens now on a daily basis. I can't even keep up with it. It's hard to mentally catalog it. 2023 is extremely interesting. I'm saying I'm excited. Let's talk about July. We have new wine, Pentecost, ninth of Av. That's, that's all the same thing. Those are different names for the same day. And that is in late July. This year, <laughs> Pentecost, true Pentecost, ninth of Av, falls on July 26th. That's seven to six. So seven to six, a lot of you know, is the Greek Strong's number for harpazo, the rapture. That's the word rapture in the Strong's concordance for the Greek. It's seven to six. And the number seven is uh, God's number of completion. And number 26 is the number of God's name, Yahweh. It is the same day, the same time of year, that is the ninth of Av, which is the day the, the law came down and brought death, but it's also the day the Jews didn't believe and they didn't go into the Holy Land. And they, it's also the day they lost their first temple and they lost their second temple. Let's talk about what's happening. We just found out what's happening this fall. The United Nations is calling for a seven year accelerated push towards Agenda 2030. You could say reconfirming it says the SDG summit 2023, a rallying cry for leaving no one behind. Hmm. Hmm. Leaving no one behind. What if, <laughs> would it be ironic if everyone who was there for it was the left behind? This is mind blowing stuff. <laughs> it's, it's too amazing to not consider. We have to consider this. We have 2023, an incredible year in the rapture window, 2000 years from the date of the cross. I lean towards the 30 AD crucifixion. You go 2000 years forward, that's 2030, 2030, minus seven brings you to 2023. We're in that window right now. We've never been in that window until this year, late into the fig tree generation, massive amount of prophetic convergence happening a new unsealed understanding of what's always been in scripture is now being understood about new wine, the wheat and the wine, Pentecost, ninth of Av, what that time of year signifies and means. We have June pride, Sodom, days of Lot, which then is followed by July, seven to six, ninth of Av, New Wine Pentecost, which is then followed by fall. Pride comes before the fall. Fall is judgment. And in the fall this year, we have a confirming of a treaty, alliance, league, covenant amongst many for a period of seven. I mean, this is why I am excited. I'm excited. Join me on my other media platforms. The links are in the description area below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.